I resorted to camping, resorted to camping. I ain't shit with that llama, ain't shit with that chopper. I'm camping like I'm garbage, camping like I'm garbage. My reflexes on pause now. Hey yo, what it do, baby? It's your boy Dynamic, aka Socrates, aka Plato, aka Aristotle, aka Shaquille O'Neal. Yes, it's your boy Dynamic. So, what I'm gonna talk about today is approaching girls and my thoughts on it. So, the number one problem with approaching girls is this the fear of rejection, right? There's nothing that hurts more, probably, psychologically, to a man than getting rejected by a female, at least for most men, right? So the fear of rejection is the biggest obstacle, especially when you're young and you're talking to really young bitchy girls and the girl's like, ew, you ugly, get the fuck out of here. And that just will destroy you from the inside out. And it'll f probably physically, not physically, but probably psychologically scar you for the rest of your life, right? And the way I see things is that not everybody's going to like each other, right? Not everybody's going to like everybody else. Imagine you were the guy and you had constantly girls approaching you all the time. So basically, let's say the roles were reversed. You're not going to like every girl. It's going to get to a point where you get approached, not so much, but every once in a while. And you have opportunities, so you're not going to like every girl. It's just everybody's not for everybody. So that is something that I would think if I was going to approach girls on a regular basis. So a girl has more to invest than a guy in becoming pregnant, right? Because if a girl sleeps with you, she has a probability of becoming pregnant. So guess what? If she becomes pregnant, you won't be the only one sucking on her tits anymore. There's going to be another human being sucking on her tits. And trust me, once this human being is done sucking, oh my God, those titties will never be the same again. What was once... Supple and perky will become flaccid and probably scarred by stretch marks. Wow, and I'm probably also the first guy to ever use the word flaccid and a pair of tits ever to describe that. So that word is usually left for the penis. So anyways, what I'm trying to say is that she has a lot more to invest than you do in this, right? So sex usually ends in pregnancy. So a girl has to basically, and she doesn't even think it. It's just an instinct. She basically analyzes you probably within the first minute that you guys meet. And she'll decide whether you're probably worth it to have sex. Because in the end, it's a risk to have sex because things can happen, right? There's three type of guys that girls look for in a sexual partner, right? There's the good genes. There's the stable guy. And there's the exciting guy, right? And the good genes guy is basically the guy who's... Really, really extremely handsome that girls find really attractive and he'll have some crazy good genes and he'll probably or has a slight probability of passing on those good genes to the offspring. So the offspring, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, right? And then there's a stable guy. This is a guy that usually either can provide a good living, doesn't have to be rich, but just has to be stable, has to have, you know, probably has a house and can have a, a family of three or four kids, you know, that guy. That guy will usually raise kids that won't die, and then those kids have a probability of having more kids because they didn't die when they were younger. You, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, it's like he gives them a higher probability of surviving until the age that they could reproduce. And then there's the last guy, which is the exciting guy, right? This is a guy that not necessarily is attractive, but it's just crazy exciting for a girl. And this is usually the type of guy that will have the most sexual partners. Because girls, I don't know if you guys ever heard that song, but girls just want to have fun. That's, that's basically, I could basically sum up girls in that one sentence. Girls want to have fun and the exciting guy is willing to, he's just exciting and he'll have sex with multiple women throughout his life. And women like men who can get women. That's something else, too. Women are attracted to men who can get other women. The exciting guy is just going to have... He's going to have so many chances to sleep around with so many women that he might pass on those genes to his children. Those exciting, attractive, super high vibe type genes. And that's basically... Well, that's like a biologically way of thinking about it. But yeah, that's it. So approaching girls is basically a numbers game. Some will like you, some won't. The fear of rejection and getting your ego smashed is 
something that could happen but in the end what i recommend is since we're not all brad pitt type level of attractive and not all of us have that much of a stable situation the best thing we could do is be that super exciting guy and peace out players oh my god